in today's video, I'm going to be exploring the urban legend of Mel's Hole, which is apparently a giant hole, and it uh, goes to other dimensions according to other people. It's called Mel's Hole. It's actually a secret base for alien activity. There are people down there, alien people. Helicopter activity. There was U.S. military, there was heavy machinery. A mapping site before Google Earth showed that the whole area was blacked out. But you believe you're down 80,000 feet. Yeah. Paranormal extraterrestrial phenomena. There are beings below us. Blizzard people. Radio would pick up weird signals. Birds fly around the hole. What the fuck? Alien activity. Bottomless hole. There are entities in there. The hole exists. We're trying to find it ourselves. What they're doing is calling Mel Waters a liar. You get across that fence, you're in a deep bunch of trouble. I just felt I was in the, the, the presence of something extraordinary, something beyond extraordinary, something like in that category of having a religious thing. There, was, This was just such a stunning thing to witness. And not only am I going to be investigating this hole, I am going to find it and go there in person. Which, by the way, none of the other videos with millions of views talking about this exact subject, Mel's Hole, have actually found the real-life location. And luckily, I may have found the actual place, which sounds insane. Trust me, it's gonna be crazy. But before we go look at Mel's Hole, let me tell you a little bit about this urban legend conspiracy theory, because it's honestly quite interesting. To be honest, the entire thing is a little bit wacky. There's a lot of different conspiracy theories and there's like aliens and like cave people and like black beams that shoot out of the freaking hole. There's just so many things about Mel's hole that honestly probably ain't true. That's why I'm making this video. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out for you. But to get into this, some guy in 1997 called into a radio show called Coast to Coast. And basically it was like, yo, there's a giant 80,000 feet hole in my backyard doing some strange ass things. Now to put that in comparison, the deepest mine shaft in the entire world is 40,000 feet deep. Made by the Russians, okay? This guy, Mel, is saying that there is an 80,000 feet deep hole in his backyard, double the length of any hole in the f***ing earth. But you believe you're down 80,000 feet? Yeah, yeah, w without a doubt. That's cap. Or is it? Because after talking on this radio show for like three hours, allegedly, allegedly, his land was seized by the U.S. government and he was forced to take a payout. Maybe my audience is not aware, but a television crew uh, went up Maybe to Ellensburg audience. after we did the last program, researched this, and I'll be doggone, they didn't find the hole, but they did find uh, near the area where you were talking about a lot of military boot oh, prints oh, yeah. and all kinds of uh, information that would indicate the military in fact had been there or was there. But nobody you could really find this hole there's a lot of theories on where it could be and apparently there is a certain point of time where if you went to google maps and you went to the location that was theorized to have mel's hole there was a giant white box covering the entire freaking spot during this three hour conversation he had on this radio talk show he talked about how there is black beams coming out of the hole alien activity the hole doing supernatural ass shit he threw a dead dog down the hole that's, I mean, that's one way to get rid of a body, but apparently that dog came back to life. There was a lot of actual, like, real-life news coverage of this hole in this theory and this, like, urban legend where people are making some outrageous claims. Like, I saw this one clip of an old guy saying that there are cave people living down in that hole or some wacky-ass shit like that. There are beings. Blizzard people could sense somebody was there and they went for him. There are people down there, alien people to us. They cannot stand our weather. They can't stand the sunlight or the cold. Their planet they come from is a desert planet, so they live underground. And then the conspiracy theories. Oh my God, dude. People were saying that it was, people were saying it goes to the center of the planet. It was a, 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 an entrance to hell. How if you went deep enough, it would be like a warped reality. I don't even, I don't even know. There's so much information and theories on this hole there's literally like hundreds of videos on youtube entire podcasts on this subject a whole lot of wacky shit now for the time that you guys have been waiting we're off to see mel's hole hopefully no one falls in so i gathered everything i needed and went to go pick up my friends that were stupid enough to come with me which were the bros memphis and cole it was gonna be dark out so we had to stop at walmart to buy a flashlight that shit was 45 bucks and then something super strange happened that it almost was a sign or something my car started having troubles and at first i thought it was my wheels like the vehicle was making weird noises and wouldn't speed up and accelerate so i had to stop and check out what was causing it 20 minutes on the road we had to turn around and go back and wait another day to go which is kind of creepy to think about but you know what maybe it just wasn't meant for that day 
Cut to a week later where I was told multiple times I shouldn't do this because A, it's too dangerous, and B, the hole simply does not exist. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we put $100 worth of gas in, and we started the drive, the two-hour drive, uh, watching our Warzone wins. Uh, yeah, we're fucking goaded. Let's go! Let's go! Dude, just in case the lizard people, bro. Long? You not know what the lizard people? That. There's no bullets. In we're it. ten minutes out uh, to the lizard people right now. So we're gonna be fine. We're gonna. We're, we're totally not gonna get sucked up by an alien, or more likely sucked down. So we're almost here. Dude, this really is in the middle of nowhere, dude. So like, what if we go up there? There's just like a group of people standing around. It. This is a cold ritual sacrifice. Yeah, somebody's gonna see it and like come out to see what yeah, we're like doing. The farmer's gonna come out with like a shotgun. Murder Memphis. I just hope we don't have to jump a fence or anything. That would suck. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. All right, so the hole is right here, as you can see. We are right there, like right there. Oh so, shit! So, that house is like right. And there. the house is right there. So we have to just sneak all the way over there. So it's basically a straight line. Damn, okay. They are going to see us if we have flashlights on out there. If we can get over there without using our flashlights, we can use our flashlights to get like the footage really quickly. So we just have to be here five, ten minutes and then we can book it out of here. But I'm a little bit nervous because we turn off these lights. We gotta let our eyes fucking adjust. As, adjust, but I think there's a sign right over there. I can't really, I couldn't, I can't see it now. This is like no trespassing. I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna say no trespassing. We can try to get over there without using the flashlights, and that's ideal. Bro. If we get it's shot, because it's a lot scarier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I know, I'm nervous, bro. My heart. <laughs> So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, so the hole theoretically, potentially, is right there. There's a house right there, though, and we don't want to get caught because technically we're not supposed to be there. There's a gate right here, man. Shit. Okay, we have to cross this fence. Yeah. People that live far out here don't give no fucks. What if they have dogs out there? Let's be too good first. So I went first just to scout out the area, just to see like what was going on over there. And then once I thought the ghost was clear, I went back and got Memphis and Cole. Look, there's a house right there. But it's like right there. So I shit you not, we walked around for 30 minutes looking for this hole and we could not find it at all. And then Memphis had this good idea of matching up the screenshot with, with Apple Maps to see where we were on the map. Just a little bit. After half an hour, we gave up hope. Like we could not find it until we saw this. This is ginormous. So you know about all those clips of people saying that it's fake and that the entire thing is a hoax. And the Reddit threads of people claiming that it just doesn't exist. Well, my friends. Of course, we wanted to find out how deep it was, so we threw rocks down it. And to be honest, we could not hear it hit the bottom. We could hear the rock getting quieter and quieter as it hit the sides of the hole while it falling, but we couldn't see a freaking bottom or hear one. I'll play an audio clip, but it was super windy, so you can barely hear anything. I find it really strange that this is just some random hole, the really, really deep hole, by the way, in some random field in the middle of nowhere. And by the way, I don't know if you can tell with the videos, but this hole hole is ginormous like not not deep wide like it is extremely wide where you can literally just fall in and die like it is dangerous dude yes the light just turned on is that my boy?
As we fucking did it. We found no hole. Dude, that shit is huge. If this video gets 10,000 likes, we'll lower coal, we'll lower him down the rope. One single rope. The tide to us in So we immediately went to the closest gas station just to realize like what we just did. We just found Mel's hole, which is absolutely crazy. So we couldn't get that much footage. We were right outside of a house and we didn't want to disturb them at all. And then we just drove the two hours back home. It was crazy. I loved making the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see y'all in the next one. That will definitely, definitely be soon. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah.